Hi, Arya Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we did some more Panther Mastery, and we are going to continue that quest chain today. Possibly finish it. And then we will be moving on to Raptor Mastery. So let's head over to Stranglethorn Vale. See what's going on tonight. Well met. Doing a little bit of a night episode to see if it, uh, I don't know, maybe the population will be a little bit different. Weren't able to find any horde. We've seen some alliance last episode, which is nice. But I always like to try to find, uh, or play during the peak hours, because that's when the most action is, and it's usually the most fun as well. But yeah, there's been a lot of talk about Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy MMO. And I think it's due to uh, WoW delaying 9.1. So people are looking for another MMO to play in the meantime. It looks like some people are going to be trying uh, Final Fantasy. I get that a lot on my YouTube feed. And that is a game I have never tried. I don't know if I would try it, but supposedly it's like, wow. And uh, I have played the Final Fantasy RPGs and enjoyed them. Up. I haven't played many of them. I've only played one and 10 and like a little bit of 12. And uh, yeah, they're pretty damn good. One thing about Final Fantasy, I know the story would be good if I ever played it. I think the MMO would have a really good storyline. I don't know about the gameplay and stuff. Supposedly, it's it's a lot like World of Warcraft in a lot of aspects, but I can see why it's doing well. It has a great... Uh, it's got a great brand. kind of reminds me of, like, Skyrim. Elder Scrolls Online is another MMO that I think is pretty damn good, too. I played a little bit of that. I didn't get, like, max level. Well, I did get max level, but I didn't get, like... You have like a paragon system where you get levels after your max level and I never max that out so can't really say that I'm uh I can't really give a good opinion about that game but I did enjoy playing it while I played it oh, found some horde over there it's got a control letter another person too to the blood elf hunter there we go it's like the horde comes out at night yeah final fantasy might be uh, a good game maybe i'll check it out in the future right now I, I got there's a lot of stuff to do in wow but if i ever run out of uh stuff to do maybe final fantasy will be a game that i give a try Let's see if we can shoot, can shoot this guy we shoot this guy? What's wrong with my... S He's gone. <laughs> I hate when my... I have a... Sometimes when I use my numpad, it, it changes up my, my findings. Should we fight this guy? Let's fight this guy. Let's see if he fights. A fight? Oh, he runs. <laughs> Typical blood elf. Okay, come back. Alright, let's have a chat with Sir SJ Roll Gadden. Now the hard part, a true panther hunter can show skill by dropping Shadow Maw Panthers, the deadliest of Stranglethorn. Prove to us that you can slay ten of these beasts. If you think you are hard to track, wait until you attempt to slay one. I think that paladin would have wrecked me if, like, he just came on the mound and just started, like, going ham on my face. Paladins are just, like, I don't know, they just have a lot of survivability. <laughs> With, uh, bubble and, you know, lay on hands. Yeah, there's a lot of blood elves out here, guys. 
I also checked out, I logged into Classic WoW by accident today, and I seen that there's, like, a character copy. I was always wondering, like, how could I ever uh, copy my character, my classic character? And it looks like I just have to log on Classic WoW and uh, just pay for a copy. I haven't paid for it yet, but it's nice to know that it's there. So if I ever want to play again, I can just, uh, you know, pull out, the, pull out the credit card and give Blizzard my money. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of a shame that I got to even do that. But uh, yeah, it's nice to know that it's there. Okay, so let's roll. Let's see. Cadgar's Whisker over there. We can't loot that. It's too bad. But yeah, I think once 9.1 comes out, I think all this like new, like, let's play a new MMO uh, vibe will probably uh, subside. And we'll start to see uh, people playing 9.1 again. There will be tons of hype and everyone will be like... You see what happened to Sylvanas? That raid was great. And the hype will be back again, and then we'll have a little lull in content, and then people will be looking for something else to play. The MMO community is hard to... Uh, it's hard to please, that's for sure. There's only so much content you can have, you know, <laughs> before people get sick of it. So I'm kind of happy with what I'm doing right now. Even though, like, I have a little bit of, uh, fear of missing out. I'm happy that I'm just taking it easy. And eventually I'll get into Karazhan, and eventually I'll do all the dungeons and get my epic mount and all that stuff. There's no rush. Because if you rush it, that's when you're, you're going to need new content. Like, I, I have a feeling there's people... In the TBC that are already like, hey, I'm done everything. <laughs> there's nothing for me to do. <laughs> and there's a lot of people like that. And that's just crazy, man. You know? It'd be cool if they had servers, though, for, like, people that wanted to go really hard. Like, servers where all the content is, like, open. And you could just go from raid to raid to raid. Like, that would be amazing. And then you can just, like, race to the end. Like, like just to try... <laughs> you just try to beat the entire expansion. In, like, you know... Like, a little bit. I don't know how long that would take. Probably, I don't know, it'd probably take a month at least. One thing is, though, I would love to watch that. I'd love to see, like, people min-max and try to, uh, finish TBC as fast as they could. Same with Classic. It'd be amazing to see that in Classic. Because it's cool to, to watch, uh, players... Oh, it looks like there's somebody killing all these animals here. It's interesting seeing players, like, try to, uh, like, kill content with, uh, with gear that's not that great. That always impresses me. Alright, so where's... Okay, so someone's killing all my panthers. <laughs> so we gotta find that guy. Hopefully he's not a an alliance. Hopefully he's not a, a super high level either. And there's the ogre mount. These guys used to be all elites. They're just level 42. So these guys were super scary ogres, dude. Remember my druid having a rough time in that ogre cave. Alright, so... There's clearly a panther murderer in our midst. And they're killing all the panthers that I want to kill. Just too bad. Because I was hoping to uh, to bang this out. Because there's a there's a panther, a legendary panther that I want to kill. But if it takes me too long to uh, get this first quest done, then I might save that for another time. There he is, right there, Beg Thera. This is the guy that I want. This is the guy. This is the cat that we got to fight at the end. So I guess we'll keep Beg Thera alive. Oh. Okay, I see. No wonder I can't find the Panthers. They're all stealth. Forgot all about that. So I guess we're gonna have to put up, uh... Put up the good old... Track Beast. 
cool thing about Bagthera? Bagthera doesn't stealth. See that Bagthera just showing off? Get some cloth legs there. Bagthera doesn't stealth. Oh, there's another one. Funny thing is, is that I can't track these panthers. Track these with when they're in stealth. It's kind of interesting. That makes them kind of unique. I think a hunter would be able to track panthers like that. Oh, there's the gorillas down there. We want nothing to do with those guys. Yeah, Beg Thera was a tough fight too. I think we will have no trouble with Beg Thera though. Oh, well, maybe we will. I think we're gonna probably wreck him. Since he's not an elite. If he was an elite, we'd probably have a tough time. <laughs> I could imagine. I can imagine the pet dying, our pet dying for sure. So where's the next one? Kind of just have to run around and hope we find them in stealth. There we go. Got to find them before they find us. We weren't able to find the culprit who's killing all these panthers. I don't know why. A rogue. Well, there we go. Big level up there for sure. That's good. Big level 37. You don't have to rank him up in any way. It's, it's like he's all ranked up. Yeah, Hunter's a pretty chill class. You just send your pet in. And you just pull out your gun. And you just start shooting. It gets dicey though. It's fun when you're like fighting multiple opponents and you get to use your trap and all that. And you're like kiting and stuff. Yeah, this is the panther zone. I'm gonna try fighting one of these trolls. It looks like he's like a warrior tank troll. I wish I went troll warrior in uh, classic. If I ever play classic again, I think I would try being a troll warrior. I know orc is just overall better, but uh, for tanking, troll is pretty fun. I think about that uh, berserking ability, which increases attack speed, and you're just like. Swinging like a maniac. And generating so much threat by being a troll. Alright, so I guess we'll have a little drink here. We'll wait for these panthers to respawn. Because it seems that we have killed them all. Maybe we can go back up here again. Maybe, we'll, maybe the other panthers that died up there have spawned. And then we'll make our way back. One good thing is that we know where Bag Thera is now. Oh, now we got the ogres chasing us. Good thing is we're faster than the ogres, I think. Yeah, we are. Yeah, let's hop on this big log. It's kind of cool. Alright, so we should find. There we go. Starting to find some panthers. We only need five more. I hope no one slays Big Thera before we do. Maybe that seen a blood elf over there. I have a feeling it might happen though. We're in a race against time.
Yeah, someone's keep slaying these panthers, man. There's one. Yeah, we'll probably we'll have enough time to slay Big Terra. I just don't want this episode to be like over an hour. And they're like, I kind of consider that to be a little too long. I kind of like them to be like, kind of like 30 minutes to an hour. Like 20 minutes plus at least. Some of them are really short though, depending on the quest. It's good to find a balance. This tiger's chasing us now. Oh, great. This is interesting. Trap this guy. Let's go. What's this guy doing? Did he kill Big Thera? He better not have. So he finally ran out of mana, shooting me. <laughs> Lucky I didn't die. Now let's heal up here. Oh, great. Okay, we gotta get out of here. This place sucks. We're <laughs> getting like attacked from everywhere. We have no mana, so this might not be good. This guy's level 41. If this guy was an elite, we'd be dead. Walker would be dead, that's for sure. I'm gonna use one of these health pots because we're not trying to get rid of them. So let's have a little drink here. Had a little interesting fight with a tiger, an ogre, and a goblin. Surprised Gur hasn't gone down. Like he's a beast. Stealing with the oaks, like look, all these like higher level mobs. Surprised he was able to take on that ogre who's like four levels higher than him. Oh, I have a feeling this guy's going after Bagthera. What's he trying to do? going for bag there a hundred percent it's not good so we're gonna have to wait for him to spawn that's the last thing I want to do I hate I always hated that oh, whoa 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 see no I declined I know see I knew exactly big there is dead There's always somebody on the hunt for Bag Thera right there, so he's down. Are you on the hunt for Bag Thera? Is he gonna ch chase that warlock down? Missing out on all the action. He is. He's chasing that warlock down. Or that warlock's chasing him. What's going on? Maybe Big Thera will spawn when we get back. I mean, we have to turn this quest in and we gotta run back. Here. 
Okay, there's, I know there's a panther here. Let's deal with this one. Once we deal with this one. I want to see what happens here. Like that... The paladin was, was just chasing that warlock down. Funny thing is, like, the warlock ended up was, like, chasing him. I don't, I don't know. It'd be cool if they fought on this big log. That'd be a cool place to PvP. Could, like, jump off as a warrior and, like, intercept back. I always like doing that on my warrior, charging midair. Oh, here we go. So this should be our last one, and then, and then we'll come back, and we'll hopefully be able to be able to find back there. There he is. So we spawn back. It doesn't seem to be too long of a wait. I have a feeling that back there will most likely be dead by the time I get back. I guess we'll just have to take that gamble. We'll have to run back as fast as we can to turn this quest in. Got a little bit of a journey to go here. I'll drop a trap for this guy. No, oh, it didn't work. <laughs> He's too high of a level. <laughs> but we're too fast for ogres. Too fast for ogres. All right, let's head up here. Yeah, do any of you guys play Final Fantasy or like any other MMOs? I don't know if, if anybody's watching. You know, if you if you play any other MMOs, tell me about them. Maybe I'll check them out. I know RuneScape's a popular one. I've never tried. Final Fantasy is another popular one. I forget there's another, uh... It's another, like, uh... Another one, I forget it's called. I don't know if it's called... It's not Blade and Soul. I don't know what it's called. But it's kind of like a hack and slash type MMO. It looks pretty cool. But I'll probably never switch. I don't know. I can't say never. Because I have switched to MMOs. I played Tibia for a little bit. Instead of WoW. Can't say I would never switch, but I would always give him a try. Like I would never like say like I'm never playing WoW ever again. I don't think like I haven't been able to do that ever since I started playing the game. Which is kind of funny. It really brings you in. That's the thing about WoW. It knows how to bring you back. We got a good. Uh, we got a good marketing team, and it's a good. I don't know. It's a nostalgic game to a lot of people, including myself. So let's head back to Nessingwari's expedition. We'll pick up our final quest in the Panther Mastery quest chain. Oh, we got a feral here. Let's give him a smack. Greetings. You should leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Well met. You've done well, Trap and Trav. You've almost proven yourself to be a master hunter of panthers. A panther by the name of Begthera has been prowling the jungle so far. He's looted our party. See if you can use your skills to kill the great Begthera. Bring me the fang of Begthera and you'll have earned my respect. We'll get some pants that we will probably vendor. Be careful. All right. Time to go see Begthera. Get a shot to that torn cow over there. <laughs> I always, I love how like they get startled. Some of them, not a lot of people like PvP, PvPing. You know what I mean? So I try not to force it on people, but if they want to fight, I'll fight. I like to troll. It's pretty much what I like to do. It's like one of the funnest like times I've had in this game is just like you know, messing around trolling and you know just having fun like player versus player experiences it's a lot of random stuff happens 
That's what I, I kind of like about it, too. Alright, so we got to go back to the Mosh Og Ogre Mound to find Bagdera. I think this won't be a, a very challenging fight. That's my guess. Which I know I've said this before, but it's a shame that, uh, you know, TBC nerfed all the elites. Because that, that really made questing, like, cool. Like, killing these elite animals was, was tough. And, like, there are memorable moments on your journey to 60. And them, like, kind of, like, you know, nerfing them to where they're just, like, you just can close your eyes and do it. It kind of makes it, I you know, it's kind of sad. It makes me feel like I should have, like, you know, kept my character in the Classic Realm. But the problem is, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to bring uh, Trap and Trap to TBC. And that's, that's kind of my goal is to uh, pretty much bring Trap and Trap and Flag Carrier right through to uh, through Wrath of the Lich King and have like a, just a leveling series through, you know, Classic, uh, the Burning Crusade and uh, Wrath of the Lich King. And if we go to Cataclysm, hey, you know what? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll even do Cataclysm, <laughs> which would be hilarious. <laughs> Cataclysm wasn't that bad. But that would be would be an interesting expansion. Maybe we do Mr. Pandaria. I, I actually like Mr. Pandaria. Really enjoyed the PvP in that expansion. But yeah, I wonder how long this classic train's gonna go. I would even do classic Warlords of Drainer. The Warlords of Drainer had a great story. Look at this mage. Doing a good job is AoEing these. Smart. It's actually like probably a new AoE farm, actually, because that's that would be actually really tough to do. If they were elites. Okay, this guy's what, level 42? Okay, we might be in trouble. We will be alright gonna make some space and one thing that we're kind of messing up on here it looks like the traps like, I don't think the traps gonna work Even if it did work you just get out it's giving us some smacks Gur can't even hit him gotta let Gur get some aggro we'll uh just heal up what I love about Hunter, you can like, you can like switch targets and stuff and just chill and heal your pet. Alright, so we got to, got to now. I think that he probably got enough aggro now. I hope he did. Looks like he's doing well. Back up a tiny bit. It's a shame that these uh, trolls are coming. Actually, really bad, dude. Run, 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 run. You gotta be kidding me, man. Okay, you know what we're doing. Oh, we're dead. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you're a faint death there. Oops. Okay, so we'll get him up. <laughs> That was cool. Oh man, this is bad. <laughs> We're having a time over here, guys, in this jungle. I think Gur's going down again. Pretty sure. Maybe not. Good thought. Gur's going down again. Set. It's the first time I've seen Gura this upset. See what happens when you talk smack about Bagthera? Saying he's gonna be a joke. The jungle gets mad. Imagine Gura leaves me. And he's like, I'm out of here. 
go find a new pet. Alright, here we go. Let's revive him. We're gonna have to give him a lot of food now. There goes all our mutton shops. You'll see where Bag there is. Gotta be like around here. Kinda in monkey land right now. Got a bunch of gorillas around us. Gotta watch out for that troll patrol. A lot of troll patrols around here. Oh my gosh, more monkeys. Did I go too far out? Yeah, I think I went a little too far. Oh, great. I got this guy chasing us. Still chasing us? This guy. See, that's why I looted him. We were gonna get something good. Now we gotta fight this guy. We'll get to beg there soon enough. Hopefully he's alive. <laughs> Kinda went a little too far. So let's see what's going on here. So it's like I literally forgot where Bagthera was. I've got to find it, those panthers again. I know he's near the ogre mound. Gosh. How did that mage he's supposed to be AoE farming? Is that him? Yeah, okay, good. So hopefully the ogre's not coming. There he is. Okay. He ran away. So let's deal with Bagthera. Just gotta tag him. Hopefully, uh, no one comes and just tags him. If that happens, then we might be in trouble. Be cool if a horde came and did tell. Right, so we'll crack, get ready here. We'll give a little meat to, uh, Gur. Try to make him a little happy here. Alright, so he's a happy camper. <laughs> Throw them in. We get a little view of uh, Bagthera here. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little pick. All right. Let's deal with it. Looks like Gur Gur is stronger than Bagthera. Wonder if I stop shooting, he'll he'll win this fight. Girl, win this fight? We won't let him lose. Cause that's the best. Give him a heal. There you go. Yeah, that should turn the tides. Come on, you can beat him. You can beat him. Gonna do it, I think. Imagine just in writing. I wonder if he enrages. It's gonna be a tough fight, close one. Wow, good job, good job. What a beast! Oh, Gur died. <laughs> that was good. That was that was a fought to the death. Putting Gur through hell today. Okay, well that was good. That was a cool fight. You, that would never happen if that was if that was some cl classic. I think Gur would probably get too. Sh like I don't know, maybe set like he wouldn't be up very long. Put it that way. Yeah, we got his fang, which is good. 
Now we'll go back. Oh, great. Put a trap down. Probably not gonna work. Let's get the that one. If we can get away, we have to fight. We're gonna have to fight, aren't we? He carried me. Am I gonna die? Why is he hitting me? What the heck? He didn't fall for that faint death. Well, that was cool. The jungle got me, got revenge. They got sick of my trolling. They're like, you gotta go to the graveyard, man. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, I thought I could just faint death and live, but boy, was I mistaken. I need to just fight that. I gotta stop being a, a pacifist. I need to just, you know. Gotta just fight. Could add Gur on one. I mean, Gur could have just took him, like took that guy out, and then that guy who's trapped could have dealt with him after. He was level forty-two, so would took us, would have taken us a little bit of time to, you know, to beat him. That's the whole point of the, you know, going to the graveyard. You get to uh, think about your death and how you could have prevented it. I just wasn't respecting the ogres. I just, like, ran right through their camp. And they weren't having any of that. They're getting sick of it. They're being disrespected. We got a mage AoE farming them. <laughs> They're just sick of it. They're getting sick of it. They're sick of being disrespected, so they had to show me. They had to show me that I have to respect them. But we'll be back. We'll be back for revenge. That should be a playable race, the ogres. Like, if they had a neutral faction, you know, they could have the ogres, the gnolls, uh, the kobolds. The go you, know, you know, it should be a neutral fact. Well, you know, they are pretty much neutral. It's goblins. But goblins are horde only. They should be neutral, too. Where am I going? I gotta go. Actually, I want to get this, uh... I want this king's blood. Oh, okay. I think Gurk can handle that. Pretty sure. Yeah, this jungle's no joke, guys. Can't be running around like I am. It's an aspect of the cheetah. You gotta show it a little bit of respect. Because if you do that, you're just gonna pull a bunch of stuff and die, like I just did. So we're taking the fight to them now. More monkeying around. There you go. All right, so let's get this herb. Hopefully, get to level up a little bit so we can start herbing some Cadgar's whiskers. Got another gorilla fang, which was nice. Should we have a drink? I don't think we need a drink. We're living life on the edge. gonna run right by these crocodiles. I'm gonna swim over here. And then we gotta make a nice run through this raptors. Through the raptors here. Hopefully we don't get attacked by the Krumgull orc guards. Shoot this guy so he attacks me. See if he turns around and starts attacking. Looks like he's not. I know we got murlocs after us now. Yeah. We're not being pacifists, guys. If you attack us, we're shooting you. We're not gonna keep running. I 
let's keep on going. I should probably man up if I wanted to be safe. I shouldn't have my mana up far up, but I think we'll be okay. We're starting to run into uh, peaceful territory. Well, peaceful for my level. We're starting to run into the the Elder Stranglethorn Tigers, which aren't that bad. But that side of the jungle is the tough side of the jungle, you know? It's like near the Mosh Og Ogre Mound. That's where all the real high levels are in... Uh, Triangle Thorn Vale. But we did it, guys. We slayed all the Panthers. We're done Panther Mastery. Now we just have Raptor Mastery. I think this hunter will fight us. Here he does. I knew he would. This guy has some good stuff. He'll finish us off. He did. Okay, we're, yeah, we're getting that guy now. We're going after him. <laughs> that was good. Finally, a horde attacks me back. I was hoping for that. I saw everyone I've been shooting doesn't attack me. But that orc hunter, he's like, I had enough. He's not a pacifist. So let's go, guys. His pet was pretty damn good, too. He had, like, a stun and all that crap. Like, we just, I don't got any of that. He clearly had some uh, abilities that I didn't have. Yeah, I was just playing around, you know what I mean? That guy just takes it to another level. <laughs> I just wanted to, she's like, throw a little concussive shot at him. Okay, so here we go. Looks like he's gone. But yeah, there's a lot of horde out at this time. I kind of like it. It's a lot of fun. All right, so we're back. Who's out here? We're going to Night Elf Hunter. Hunting crocodiles. All right. King's honor, friend. Bakthera can prove to be an elusive beast. How fair is the hunt? So the great Bakthera is dead. Cheers to you, Trav and Trav. You're a mighty hunter indeed. Getting attacked. Oh, this guy. Oh, my gosh, dude. Am I dead? Yeah. A rogue saved my life. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, rogue. You saved my life. That was epic. Did you see that? Toxicon just came out of nowhere and saved my life. That was a, that was awesome. So that's that's the those are the moments I love, you know. Just like I was like, all right, I'm gonna die, and then right out of nowhere, Toxicon comes in, and just starts going crazy. I throw in a little shot at the end, just you know, just to say I did something. But yeah, that was all Toxicon right there. So shout out to Toxicon the Rogue. You're a legend. You won't be forgotten. But yeah, we finished up Baked Thera. We got some new pants. Pretty damn cool. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.